Hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Patilam with my class series Biology for Engineers BPOC 407. This is for the uh, 2022 admitted batch students. Uh, 2021 uh, admitted batch, your seniors had a different syllabus. So, to specific, this is 2022 admitted uh, uh, batch students. So for uh, colleges which are affi affiliated to Vishweshwaraya Technology University. Uh, this is for the fourth semester, common for uh, all the computer science streams, which includes computer science and engineering, uh, information science and engineering, artificial intelligence, uh, uh, data science. Uh, these streams, uh, business system, computer science and business system, computer science and design. So, this computer science related uh, streams, CHC streams uh, for them, this particular class video. For others, it's a separate syllabus is there that I'll cover immediately. I complete this. Okay, so wait uh, for my classes. So this is uh, second video class of uh, the first module. Okay, so introduction was covered in uh, previous uh, video section, and uh, this I'm covering the structure and function of a cell. And these are the uh, course outcomes. You now compulsory students should know what are the course outcomes based on the course, course outcomes are very important when you com complete the a particular course okay we can click the center structure and function of a cell okay now a question is framed for uh, this particular uh, topic structure and function of a cell analyze the significance of cell structure in carrying out specific cell functions and how this understanding can be applied to design uh, innovate uh, solutions for uh, real world bioengineering challenges it covers uh, comes under course outcome 2 means when once you analyze uh, uh, write the exact answer or proper answer for this one that means you understood the course outcome 2 uh, then uh, level of the question is 3 the rbt level is 3 and can be asked for up to 10 marks okay so mark distribution is mentioned here this will be easy for you to uh, write what to write uh, the important points that is mentioned here uh, introduction to cell structure carrying two mark which carries uh, one mark for uh, st uh, stating the cells as basic unit of life uh, and uh, one mark for highlighting the structural difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic uh, cell components uh, mentioning and explaining uh, can be given three marks uh, for describing function of cell membrane one mark explaining the role of nucleus in eukaryotic cell one mark mentioning the function of uh, cytoplasm and uh, uh, specifying which are the different organelles uh, can be given one mark schematic images uh, it is uh, think that it is necessary uh, not so much uh, complicated one you can further make it a schematic you need to represent a stru cell structure and you need to identify some of the uh, items in the cell okay so so i put a two marks for that a very rough schematic representation is enough and no need to draw the well structured uh, and all are not need required so one mark each for a uh, eukaryotic cell and for prokaryotic cell then uh, three marks for writing function the one mark each for correctly explaining the uh, function including the uh, respiration uh, photosynthesis uh, uh, replication uh, cell division uh, protein synthesis uh, so many other so few you can write uh, so it carries uh, one mark each for three points if you write okay so i'll see one by one uh, structure and function of a cell introduction to the uh, cell structure uh, we know cells are uh, uh, basic units of uh, uh, life and they are classified as the uh, prokaryotic prokaryotic means the cell which is not having a true nucleus uh, the center portion true well defined so nucleus if it is not there we call it as a prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cells are having uh, containing a true nucleus and a membrane bound organelles all the uh, organ uh, organelles inside the cell are, are also having membranes proper membranes so there is a true nucleus also okay so example if you take prokaryotic which is lacking uh, the nucleus uh, they are like a bacteria although they are simple structures while the eukaryotic cells uh, they are actually found in plants animals uh, and the fungi also which exhibit a greater complexity so these are the two uh, cell structures 
eukaryotic and prokaryotic finally they are the basic unit of life okay so the cell components cell components they have cell membrane nucleus is there in eukaryotic cell cytoplasm is there organelles are there okay so plus you had only four now organelles is how many are there so that further details i didn't render i made it as four so cell membrane cell membrane is you know that is the word meaning membrane only it surrounds the cell uh, it regulates uh, the entry and access of uh, any substance okay so that membrane it is it is a semi permeable membrane actually so through that uh, whatever passage water molecule passage or air passage or any I, any uh, material if they want to take inside uh, the cell so those can regulation uh, that entry and exit uh, that also uh, the cell membrane work as well as it acts as a protective cover also it covers that entire cell that is cell membrane nucleus is there in a eukaryotic cell so nucleus it it, it contains the, the genetic material the dna uh, and it controls the activity of the cell it is a main brain of the cell nucleus okay so cytoplasm is the third one uh, that is a gel type uh, substance which is present inside the uh, cell or inside cell membrane which carries the organelles which uh, holds the organelles make them to float inside that that is cytoplasm and organelles are they are the specialized structures uh, having specific functions like uh, say mitochondria is there which is uh, main function is to produce energy okay so they are organelles so different organelles are there you are not going in depth of organelles so if you are interested you can search and find it out it will be very well uh, but uh, i am giving limited so this is a, a sample uh, image of a uh, a uh, schematic of a prokaryotic cell as i said the prokaryotic cell they are not having a well defined nucleus there is not a well defined nucleus only a nucleotide is there if you compare with that of eukaryotic cell you can see a well defined nucleus is the nucleus uh, uh, as well as nucleolus also there okay so it is a well defined one in case of prokaryotic whereas in eukaryotes it is just a nucleotide so it, it looks like a bacterium you know? is that is what we study okay so long tail and a shape okay so cell membrane is there cell wall is there a capsule like uh, nucleo nucleoid is there there is not well defined nucleus is not there cytoplasm this gel type uh, material the blue color one indicate the cytoplasm and some organelles like uh, plasmid uh, ribosomes uh, these are all the organelles uh, different organelles their function and all uh, if, when it comes to study in detail so uh, this this one uh, roughly can uh, draw a capsule type one uh, put to uh, show that uh, it has got cell wall capsule and uh, represent uh, a uh, nucleoid uh, and uh, some shapes uh, small small shape you put and mention it as organelles no need to even ribosomes or plasmid uh, in place of that you can mention as organelles and this uh, shade uh, or the blue color part uh, that has can be mentioned as a cytoplasm okay in a very simple way i said this is for computer science engineering students who not at all studied uh, biology part uh, for them i explained like this uh, those who know please don't laugh uh, what is the sir is telling for them i have made it uh, simple like this so this is for the eukaryotic cell a little bit complex uh, complicated one okay so it has got all everything has got uh, well defined structures so it is a circular uh, cell as ball shape okay cut into two pieces to represent uh, the parts okay so it has got a cell membrane is there uh, gogli cytoplasm ribosome uh, endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria these are our organelles okay so in place of writing all this mentioning the names you can mention this is a organelle this particular part i i think you can uh, able to see and i yeah okay yeah, the arrow mark is there okay so this is an organelle this is an organelle this is another organelle so these are our organelles okay if you know if you know the name you can write the name then we have the nucleus and the nucleolus nucleus if you write also you know because we are differing that uh, nucleus is the cell wall is the cell membrane is the nucleus is the in place of uh, eukaryotic cell and there is a uh, organelles as well as cytoplasm cytoplasm not mentioned here okay so the part where the organelles are not there that color shade you can mention as a 
the cytoplasm that is the gel shape uh, gel shape material present the liquid form uh, which is holding this uh, organelles are called uh, cytoplasm so that about the structure of uh, of, uh, of a eukaryotic as well as a prokaryotic uh, cell okay now functions of a cell what are the different uh, functions uh, that a cell uh, has to do it is uh, mentioned here the different functions like uh, the cellular uh, respiration uh, that means actually generation of energy uh, the mitochondria which is present in the cell the word is very important uh, cellular respiration is done by the mitochondria which generate the energy uh, the energy is generated in the form of ATP we call it as ATP adenosine triphosphate okay so mitochondria generates the energy uh, that energy in the form of ATP adenosine triphosphate through a process called cellular respiration so cellular respiration, respiration it is nothing but it is a process of if you can mention mitochondria ATP and all you can tell cellular respiration is actually a process of producing energy by the cell uh, the cell is producing energy that process is called as cellular respiration then uh, second point that is photosynthesis that is mainly in uh, plant cells photosynthesis you might have heard that uh, plants uh, generate uh, food uh, from sunlight uh, as well as uh, water the roots of the plant absorb water water go to the leaf uh, sunlight falls on the uh, leaf surface there the uh, cell specialized cell uh, they convert um, the specialized cells are called chloroplast uh, the chloroplast uh, they convert uh, the sunlight energy uh, into the form of uh, glucose okay some chemical reaction happens there on the surface of the leaf not on the exact surface inside in a part the cells uh, uh, called the chloroplast okay so photosynthesis in plants so you can say that uh, the plants uh, the leaf uh, the cells present in the leaf uh, they uh, with the help of sunlight energy convert uh, 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 produces uh, food uh, that glucose glucose is produced that glucose we are taking plants are also taking after plants takes whatever remaining that we take okay i am a vegetarian so i am a, a, a plant eater so i can say that i am uh, eating that uh, glucose mainly okay so dna replication and cell division uh, the nucleus as i said uh, that is mainly uh, possible uh, with uh, eukaryotic uh, mm, cells uh, uh, well defined nucleus is that the nucleus is having a uh, uh, the dnas those controls uh, the replication of the cell uh, one cell if it is there if you want to make exact copy of that uh, that uh, nucleus uh, the dna will tell uh, to dna will produce a single strand uh, and that single strand will uh, grow into a double strand again uh, uh, then further remaining things will attach to that uh, so further it becomes uh, a second cell so that is a process a little bit complicated process uh, so you can say the, the replication uh, as well as the, uh, uh, the division of the cell uh, that is controlled also controlled by uh, the cell uh, for growth uh, kids are growing uh, so there is always a uh, replication a cell division uh, division are happening replication is happening and if any cut wound is there we can see that that wound are by itself uh, the body itself cures that uh, uh, so repair work also it, it will do that is uh, the function of a cell fourth one that is protein synthesis uh, mainly the ribosomes uh, ribosomes they synthesize protein uh, using uh, using the uh, the feed given by the nucleus so the genetic information okay so the proteins are very much needed for, you know we, we need protein we, we take extra protein also those who are going for gym they always uh, purchase the protein protein powder okay so the protein which is generated in our cell itself our body itself uh, that is done by the cell specialized cell called um, uh, uh, ribosomes okay the cells inside that uh, ribosome the protein is formed uh, and which type of protein has to be produced uh, that is decided by the uh, genetic information or the DNA. The uh, control is there inside that cell. But based on that, uh, based on the requirement, uh, based on the body requirement, which protein is needed, that will be immediately uh, prepared, uh, synthesized, and uh, supplied to that part. 
so that about a function of uh, cell okay hope uh, this particular small topic uh, structural and function of a cell i ha you have understood uh, please watch uh, some other videos uh, also uh, because uh, those who are not child studied biology for them it will be something a uh, little bit uh, very hard others those who are little bit studied uh, then this is very much you, you, i think it very much useful for you to understand the topic and uh, answer the question please do subscribe to my youtube channel uh, that is the only help that i am asking from you please do subscribe this particular um, uh, ppt powerpoint uh, presentation it will be available in the description box of the my youtube channel under this particular class video uh, so once again i thank you this is my youtube channel my intuition 4865 so once again thank you nandar and have a nice day